Okay, so welcome to Feng Huang, the old Phoenix town here. There's a lot of action going on in the background, a lot of noises, live bars, food, snacks, people in old clothes. Very nice here, you can see the traditional costumes playing. But I'm gonna explore a lot here. I actually went on a bit of a road trip to get here, three hours, so I'm gonna throw you guys back to that. If you wanna follow along, you can watch everything. I'll show you a lot more later. Okay, so we just got some food here. I had some snacks before I started eating. It's too hungry, I've been out walking like two hours, or no, five hours, the whole mountain here. But we got some nice chili here, I'm going on the road trip, so I need some energy. Mm, so nice with the chili flavor on the cabbage. And then we have, of course, a lot of a great beef here, as always, with like garlic. And we have, you can take a look here, it's looking great. Mmm, fantastic. You need your protein every day, that's for sure, so getting it away. Mmm, then a bit of noodles here. We have some minced pork. It's gonna be messy, so sorry for that, but let's try them out. Mmm, have a bit of a chili sauce here at the bottom. Mmm, so rewarding. Got a bit of messy. I don't normally eat so much pork, but this is a fantastic way to get some good energy, so I'm gonna eat this quickly now. I think the driver is calling. We're gonna go on the road trip, so. See you guys very soon in the old city. Okay, so we just arrived here to the Phoenix ancient town here. Got a pretty cool kind of modern mixed looking hotel with the Chinese vibes here, the round windows here. You can sit there some tea. Just checked into the room here. Quite nice as well. I haven't even put in the card here. But nice bathroom. Very big. It's only me here. Two beds, clearly too much. I don't think it's too many guests here these days, so you probably get a better offer. Wow, a lot of construction outside here. Maybe not the prettiest views, but we're gonna go out and explore the old town now and have some nice food, so see you outside. So now we got down here in the very nice reception area here. And we're greeted with some nice tea, you gotta try it out. That looks good, green tea here. Looks nice. Mm, very relaxing and soothing. So we're gonna go out and see the sunset and try some nice food. It's gonna be a very nice evening. So we just start walking next to the water. Yeah, people actually cleaning here their underwear in the water, like the old style. And you see a bit of the old town in the background. We're gonna keep on walking to make sure we catch the sunset. It's gonna be very beautiful. So see you over there. It's really cool when you're walking next to the water. You see all these old buildings on this side here. You have some of the more newer ones on this side here. We're gonna walk up the river here. It's really pretty. I'm sure it's gonna be crazy nice when you see all these like lanterns lighting up here in the background in the red later. And then we're gonna find some fantastic food, I'm sure. So it's gonna be a very, very nice evening. People are walking around in this old style clothing, as you can see. The young people and the old one, the traditional one. You call that the Miao ethnicity here. They live here originally, so you have a lot of people actually living here wearing them, but also others, they just kind of buy it as a tourist thing to take some photos, but really cool here next to the water, to just see it here. You have a lot of people taking pictures, of course, here. Yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting evening, that's for sure. Wow, that is looking interesting. We're making some ginger candy here. Wow, maybe I'll try that a bit later. It smells fantastic. Yes, yeah, so apparently behind this bridge here up to the next bridge is actually the real old area. So you have a lot of buildings, of course, along the river here and here. And as you can hear, there's some more modern stuff going on here. It's uh, like a nightclub here. So mixing the old with the new, but we're gonna walk up and see the real old part here first at least here probably find some food take some nice pictures and explore the old building so it'll be pretty interesting that's for sure okay let's walk up the stairs here pretty nice here with the background and you have people with these traditional clothes passing by here you get the pretty cool view here over the old town in the background very nice with all the Lighting and a bit of the steam on the river. Super beautiful. Nice moody lighting, for sure. I'm not the only one, clearly. There's a lot of people around here. But yeah, 
take a look at this crazy nice view here. Yes, as I mentioned, apparently on this side here, starting from this bridge actually, up until there, and also on this side it's the old town there, it's a lot of new expansion, so pretty nice to see that from up above here. We're gonna walk around a bit, wait for the sunset to go down and just enjoy, try some local snacks, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Really cool here, walking next to the water, and you have all these like lanterns everywhere. You also have these boats here you can jump on. Really cool mood, we're gonna walk up in this small alleys here to find the real old areas. It's gonna be a lot of nice little alleys and restaurants and stores to explore. It's gonna be fantastic, but first we're gonna find the, the core of the old town here. So yeah, just follow along and see what we can find here. Wow, I already completely love it. Very noisy, but super nice as you clearly can see. So let's follow along and see what we find over here. Yeah, the sun is starting to set here a little bit. You have all these bars and places opening up, KTV stores. There's noise everywhere, so many nice stores. You have all these like old areas here as well. People taking a lot of photos and you have these traditional dresses people walking around with here. But let's see if we can find that core of the ancient town first. There's a lot of action going on here next to the bridge here, the old part apparently here. You have these like live music bars everywhere. People observing the nice evening. We're gonna continue up here, see if you can find a better spot. A lot of action, that's for sure. Mixing a lot of the modern with the new ways, but still very pretty with the lighting, so not complaining. We have a lot of fantastic meat stores here in the background. Come back later and try some of that out, that's for sure. Here you have a cool vault walking in here. Wow, it never stops to surprise you with everything going on here. And you have a lot of cool stuff. You have the stinky tofu here. Definitely gonna try that a bit here. Oh, and here you have the crickets also. Very nice. Yeah, I will leave those crickets and uh, other stuff for a while. Maybe another time. It's really pretty now with the lighting here. There's shadows everywhere, but you see people here in the traditional clothes a little bit in the background. So we're gonna walk around here now. I think uh, maybe we can find some nice spot to eat. I just wanna capture a lot of this fantastic lighting here. You have like the old pagodas, really beautiful all the buildings along the water here. Super nice. Then you get this kind of techno music all of a sudden blasting in the background. Very dynamic. A lot of stuff going on, that's for sure. See what's around the next quarter. We'll see you there. Yeah, it's a bit touristy for sure, but still you gotta take in all this beauty. It's a lot of colors, a lot of action going on, and so much fantastic food. We're gonna have a nice dinner, but I've already seen a lot of very interesting, intriguing snacks, so I'm sure I'm gonna show you some of that weird stuff later. Oh, here we have some interesting stuff. We have some live shrimp here. We have them here. Oh, the crickets, that is crazy stuff. I think we're gonna try this one. Let's try this little crab cake thing here. The fresh shrimp. Do you want chili? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, we have a lot of chili here. Look at all these nice chili stuff. Okay, let's try it out. Looks very tasty. Mmm, very, very good. Shrimp pancake. Mmm, crispy and crunchy. Definitely tastes like seafood. Mm. Highly recommend it. You're gonna try this if you come here. Mm. Let's move on. Yeah, so after that, a bit of a crab encounter or shrimp actually, I guess, small shrimp. Now we're crossing over another bridge here. And there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. It's like a stage here with a lot of lasers in the background. Definitely a very modern take on an old Asian town, that's for sure. Have all this smoke here. But we're on the way to a very nice restaurant, but I want to pick up some snacks along the way here, so I'm not going to follow the rule book and just eat and don't have any snacks after. We're going to play it around, see what we can find. Very beautiful and fun city. Wow, if you're just a foodie like me, this is like paradise. There's a lot of whistling going on in the background, kids playing. And now the show is actually on here. The lasers and everything. Very noisy, so let's watch this, see what happens. And like always, you can find some fresh stuff. Here we have seafood, and here you apparently have a 
salamander. I don't think I've ever seen that in my whole life before. People apparently eat it. Some small fish here. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, salamander. It's like carps, a lot of stuff. Ooh, it's a rooster going on there. It's a lot of wildlife. A lot of crazy stuff going on here, but very nice along the water. It's really nice when you're just walking here, it's like live music and bars everywhere. Basically, it's like it's the wonderland of bars and restaurants and snack stores. Maybe not so old and traditional, but you know, if you just want to have a great time, go out just overnight. Definitely recommend it. Come here and enjoy it. It reminds me a little bit of some other places I've been to as well. It's kind of an interesting experience, that's for sure, but you know, old meets new. I don't really have a problem with that, so just come here and enjoy. Wow, you're never gonna know what you're gonna see when you come out here and get this kind of red, cool wall in the background, and then you have a lot of lighting going on over here. And this alley's really cool. Oh, this is where we're gonna have it? Yeah. Nice, so apparently this is dinner place. Let's go out and check it in. This restaurant has nice view and all the dishes is good. That is sounding fantastic. Let's go and check it out. Wow, this is looking amazing. Amazing. You have a lot of Chinese flags here. Patriotism going on. And we have, I can see already now, an amazing abundance of crazy good dishes here in the background. Yeah, I can tell you this is going to be a very nice dinner with a lot of fun stuff. Great, so they're preparing a fantastic table here. It's going to be very enjoyable. And we have the fresh seafood here in the background. We're going to have the local specialty, some baked form of chicken, I think. It's going to be quite interesting to try it, that's for sure. Yeah, so they put us in the best spot. I think we can even see here out under the bridge here, the boats coming in very nice and soon we're gonna have a lot of food wow so we got the mapo tofu i think here and then we have a lot of vegetables here very healthy actually waiting for the chicken well it's a lot of oil obviously that is not extremely healthy but you know quite natural wow i think we got our chicken here it's inside the leaves here the chicken is hiding this is a lotus flower leaves fantastic it smells crazy. Let's really take a photo before. Ooh, we're just gonna take a photo. You know, I'm crazy about photos. Let's take a photo first. You wanna, you wanna open the leaves? I do the. Okay, show it how it's done. Ooh, looks very steaming hot. Wow, that's the duck hiding inside, or the chicken. I mean, ah, it's looking crazy nice. Okay, I'm looking forward to trying this one. Gotta just take some nice photo first. Yeah, I get the whole chicken here, the chicken head, legs, everything. That's gonna be very tasty, that's for sure. Okay, so finally we got the food here. We got some vegetables here with a lot of oil, of course. We got the mapo tofu, and we got this famous chicken that was wrapped in the banana leaf. So. It's a bit barbaric here, like it always is in China. So we're just gonna go in and dig in and break some pieces off here. Wow, this feels a bit wrong, I must tell you, but this is how you do it. Take out a piece here. Take a look at that juicy piece here. Let's try it. it smells great. Wow, that is juicy. Crunchy. Mm. You can even eat some of the bones. Let's try another piece here. Ooh. Just gonna use your hands. Drop the piece in the tofu. Nice. Let's see if we can dig up something more. Here. Wow, this feels wrong on all levels. You get like a whole, I guess like a whole chicken breast or something here. That is looking crazy with the skin on. Mm. It's crazy juicy. Very nice. Definitely get a bit messy. Now we're gonna try the other one. So I think I have to take off this a bit and I get the chopsticks. I don't think I'm efficient to use the chopsticks. The gloves, okay. So we were a bit messy. Let's try the vegetables first. This looks very good. I have a whole bunch here. Take a look at this. You see all this good vegetable stuff going on. Let's try it out. Mmm, a bit salty. It's a local specialty apparently. Let's have some more here. It's great to fill up on. Mmm, and then we have the next one here apparently very good mapo tofu let's see if you can get a close-up on this one it's basically tofu and you have a lot of chili and stuff hope you can see the steam here let's try it out mmm it's like smoky you have a lot of chili flavor obviously it's chili huh mm. tofu is very good it's like you know vegetarian basically made from the tofu bean so a lot of protein it's basically a lot of protein a lot of protein a little bit of carbs, no rice, no noodles. Very good for you. 
obviously a lot of oil, but yeah, highly recommend it. Try this out if you haven't tried this dish. It's a, actually, I'm not a huge fan of tofu, dip, but this is really fantastic. So if you come here, definitely check out the chicken, the tofu. I'm gonna take my time, enjoy a lot of this, and then we'll see, find some weird snacks maybe later. So see you outside. Can you see inside here? You have all this nice stinky tofu here. Can you see, I hope you can see all the details here. Nice. So what's very popular now in Chinese social media is something called dough, and you do like record, you record 15 seconds clip only. So I'm gonna put one clip here when I try it and just gonna record myself doing a weird, weird one here when I try it. Okay, we're in the street there. I'm gonna try some stinky tofu. Let's have a bite. Mmm. Fermented good. Let's have another one. Fun. Mmm. Pretty, yeah. Highly recommend it. Go try it out. Mmm. Very nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of noise in the street. You have a bars going on. Very nice. Rapping. A lot of food. But really fun to see the nightlife here. Quite modern, I would have to say. Everything is like competing with each other. People everywhere. But yeah, it could be worse. Let's see what's around the corner. Yeah, have all these people dressed up in the traditional clothes you can see here. Walking everywhere here. We're also meeting someone here. They sell a lot of gifts here. Stinky tofu, that's something else. What is that? Candy, okay. Ah, well, we're gonna skip the candy. Bit unhealthy, but it's like stuff everywhere. You have the sausages, so much food. Interesting, hard to choose. It's a little bit more peaceful, less screaming at least. Still very interesting and nice lighting here everywhere. Of all these nice alleys, you never know what you're gonna see. Ooh, here we have some nice, cool stuff. We have some squid and a lot of interesting things here. Squid, yeah. But yeah, I'll say that we still have tomorrow. And here we have my favorite stuff. All this meat is fantastic, but I think we'll save that. We already had a lot of food, so gotta save some space. Yes, yeah, so we just came out from the old city gate up here. Apparently there are four here, or used to be four. One was destroyed, two are old ones, and this is like a new one as well. We're just gonna walk back along the river near, back to the hotel, but it's pretty interesting. A little bit too noisy, We had a lot of good food, so. We're gonna see if there's something more interesting going on in the way, but otherwise just gonna walk back to the hotel. We'll see. Okay, let's cross the bridge. You gotta be very careful here when you walk in the water. Don't wanna fall in. Seems we made it halfway, let's see. Only a bit left. A lot of people. This is not exactly very safe, but you gotta do this stuff for the view. This is definitely pretty dangerous. I uh, not really recommend it. Don't think this is approved by the traffic authorities. Yes, it seems like we made it without falling into the water. That was very successful and very dangerous. Maybe not so recommended, but we still have this crazy, beautiful view here in the background. Just gonna walk here and enjoy it. Yeah, the party is definitely starting here in the evening. You can see it here. Nightclubs starting to get crazy. But I think I will uh, skip that party for now. Go home and sleep. I've had those days perhaps before, uh, some years ago when I was slightly younger, but tomorrow I want to wake up fresh and have some nice breakfast and a lot more. No more partying for now. Yeah, now it's finally coming down a little bit here, not too crazy. It's walking along the river here. It's a lot of fun stuff. People actually stop you and ask you and I want to take a photo with you or follow you and doing all this weird stuff. Yeah, okay, so finally it's calmed down a little bit here. It's nice when just walking along the street. You can see all the restaurants and everything on the other side. Not so crazy as before. But I'm just gonna call it the early evening here. No more partying for me. But still, it's been a very active day. We were hiking earlier today, so actually checking so far i've actually got in 24,000 steps so very active so you can eat a lot of food do crazy stuff if you stay active but i'm gonna go home go to bed and then we're gonna go continue tomorrow so i will see you guys tomorrow very soon okay so good morning and welcome back here to the beautiful city here a lot calmer than last night that is for sure it's been raining a bit and i just woke up and it was pretty interesting i was looking at this dough in like the chinese tiktok tiktok and apparently I have 48 fans now and one of the videos I made from last yesterday actually yeah so one day ago has now already gotten 
19,000 views in one day. That is pretty interesting. Basically, my whole YouTube account up until now has 28,000 views. So in three days I'm doing it, I almost have more than two years on my YouTube. So that's showing how it's working here in China. But I'm gonna continue walking here now. We're gonna have some local breakfast. Was breakfast including the hotel, but it's so much nice you just take a walk here. So I'm gonna take you guys along and see what we can find. Hopefully it's gonna be a lot of nice protein and some local things on offer. So see you there. Yes, actually now before I got there, it started raining again here, but I just wanted to show you all these people fishing in the background here. Great to see that people are sort of fighting the rain to go out and enjoy the early morning hours and get some fish despite the weather. But I think I'm gonna take out my umbrella now as well protect the camera and myself a bit. Probably gonna stop soon again. It's changing very fast. People are whipping up here. So I'm gonna take out the umbrella, see you soon. So we find a very, very local breakfast spot here. It's cooking for us inside here. Some noodles, I was gonna have some eggs. I think beef noodles. Trying to, I didn't we also have these dark eggs here. They have some other famous stuff here, but they don't serve it for breakfast. Some meow. Tofu, meow is the local ethnicity here, but apparently they don't serve it now, so we'll see what comes out. Amazing, getting the noodles with the vegetables on. Then we can add on some nice beef here and pork. Oh, some beef, nice. We also have some pork there. Mmm, how much of that? Let's just see. Oh, that is look fantastic. Yeah, we well, have the chili oil. Not the healthiest, but very tasty. Oh, that is looking amazing. Onion. Oh, how should I? This How many eggs you want? Liang Gang. Oh, this is looking insanely good. Okay, so we got the food as you saw there, and it's amazing. We get a very special mix here because both beef and pork because I asked for it. You know, you gotta ask in life. You don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate, even if you have to pay a little bit more. So we're gonna try a little bit here. We're gonna start out with some of this nice beef here. See if you can have a look on these pieces first. I'm not sure. Ooh, I dropped some noodles there. Looking very nice. It smells very nice. Mmm, chewy. Great, wow. It was spicy for sure. Mmm, nothing wrong with some chili in the morning. Let's try out a bit of the minced pork here, see if I can dig it out a bit hard. I think we have a bit of a mixed piece of action here. Not sure if I can see close up here. Let's try it. Mmm, crunchy. I think it's also some ginger in there. Let's try the noodles. Wow. Let's see if we can have a look at this close up here. Wow, it's steaming hot here. Oh, that's some good stuff. And we have a lot of Nice pickles here, actually, and chili oil. I guess you gotta stir everything around, but then it looks so messy. So we're just gonna get a whole bunch of. Wow, that is good with the chili oil. I'll mix it up with the, the beef here. Let's see if we can get a good bite with the beef and noodles. Mm, that is nummy, very nice. We also have these eggs here. It's like the tea leaf eggs. I guess you have the tea leaves here. Maybe some of you guys think it's a bit weird to eat this in the morning. I guess you're supposed to eat this or not. I don't know, I'm sure. You can crack the egg like this and eat. You can have a bit of a look, let's see. Ooh, very dark inside. Maybe it doesn't look so appetizing, but I don't really care. Let's try it. I eat with the whole shell, actually. Mmm, very good, very protein. Amazing, crunchy. You have some nutrients in the shell, no problem. Yeah, so we're gonna have some nice exploration ahead here today. I'm gonna take my time, enjoy some of this. Just get a lot of good fuel for the day and a lot of good protein so we stay long until lunch. We have some road trip going on. So looking forward to see you very soon on the other side of this video. Okay, so that was very rewarding. As you clearly can see, I have a lot of good energy now, feeling full. It's very nice to see here this uh, rainbow bridge, I think it's called again in the background. Now people are coming out, the city's waking up. And we're gonna walk to the old part of town, actually. So we, I think we walked past that a little bit last night, but now it's a lot quieter, so we'll see. We're gonna walk around there a few hours, and then we're gonna go to the next old town, actually, and check that out as well, and eat lunch there. So, see you very soon. So now we're gonna cross another bridge, and we still see all these people with the local clothing in the back, uh, crossing over there, but we're gonna do the jumping bridge, as I said, which means this one with the stones separated. Let's see, hope we don't fall in. That would be a very sad ending to this journey. Okay, let's go here. Just gonna put one foot in front of the other, as they say. Keep an eye, look out. 
Avoid mistakes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we, we go there. See the ancient town first. Okay. Good. Let's see the ancient town first. Safety first. And you definitely have a pretty cool view as a reward when you're crossing over the dangerous river here. Also on the other side here. Maybe nicer in the evening, but still refreshing. You're gonna see if your balance is in check. If you've been out too late drinking, maybe this is not the best thing to do in the morning. But uh, Luckily, that's not me. Fantastic, so we made it here. We're gonna go explore a bit. Okay, so now we get over, we're gonna go in the north city gate, as you can see. Very nice with this old architecture and bricks. Get some traditional heritage and construction here. Very cool, you can see these old buildings here in the background. Walking through, of course, and you get a lot of good food as well. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to find some tasty snacks here before we leave as well, but for now I'm gonna let this food sit for a bit. It's so nice when you see you walking down all these alleys. Really, really cool. You should definitely come and check it out if you're nearby. Okay, so we're gonna try some local snacks. A lot of things with nuts here that I can't eat, but we have this ginger snack here. Let's try it out. Mm, very hard. Mmm, very interesting. Ginger mixed with like, I don't know, it tastes like gingerbread. Definitely gonna buy that, gonna be for my colleagues. Highly recommend it, try it out. That was a very nice crunchy experience trying food. We have this nice little alley here. We have this Kung Fu temple apparently in the background here, but it's too old, so it's close to public access, but still very nice to walk around here after the rain. It's kind of a bit humid and a little bit cooler. Not so warm as the sun yesterday, so very relaxing. Great to explore here with less people in the morning, so that is highly recommended if you come here. Yeah, I was just saying this area reminds me a bit about Lijang, where I went last August, actually, before I was filming myself, but it's very nice with these alleys and small, you know, crooks and alleys, and you never know what's on the other side here. Yeah, a lot of history. Really love the architecture here, of all the kind of the brick houses. Really cozy, you know, these like small alleyways up here. You never know what you're gonna find, so gonna keep on walking. I think it's just getting better and better here. You see this very old background mural here. It's apparently like a family temple. Really cool architecture, this old place. You know, what we saw last night was a bit too modern for my taste, to be honest, but here definitely have some real cultural heritage. Really cool, all these walls and the texture. Very, very nice and not so much commerce going around, at least here, so so refreshing and you can see the mountains with the mist here after the rain. Fantastic morning to start my last day here before going back to Beijing, but definitely had worse Tuesday mornings, that is for sure. And here you can actually see how they're making the candy here that I was trying just before. Very shiny, a lot of sugar I'm sure, but also a lot of ginger, that was very crispy and crunchy, so Happy I tried that one. Really nice when you're looking up here, you see kind of the small balconies and the old windows here. Very cool, and you have this pagoda up in the mist there and the old city. Really relaxing and fun to explore this old type of China. So we're just passing by the east old city gate here. It's very nice. You also see these people in the background carrying things the old way here. That is definitely not good for your body. Can I see if you can find some interesting gifts, got some nice beef for the colleagues and also the candy, maybe there's some other stuff. And here you can actually buy these traditional old things here, people are walking around. Very nice, ooh, dripping water. Let's see what you can find before we move to the next place. Get some soothing Chinese music vibes in the background with new sounds in between. A lot of action and commerce going on here. I can see cities waking up. Let's can do a bit of a final stroll here. You have all these chili and garlic here looking crazy good just take a look at this wow that's a lot of good stuff for you your stomach has to be used to it for sure i was getting a little bit hurt in the stomach but now i'm good around so just gotta adapt and take it in and move on and enjoy it just gonna continue walking a little bit more here i think we walked it yesterday when it was actually dark over the bridges here definitely nicer in the evening just gonna i think i showed you this actually up here See this old tower here, super, super nice. Just get to appreciate the local transportation of the dried meat here. Very nice. The lady is just carrying it here in the background. Freshly dried meat. Then you walk through the cave with traditional music out in the brightness. And you get greeted with this very green and lush view 
over the hill here. Super nice. Before we leave, of course, we get to try some local coffee here. I'm not sure how local this actually, but coffee and I have to get energized. So let's see what they have. Oh, now it's smelling real nice. Fresh coffee here. Let's try. Mm. Yeah, what's going on? Okay, yeah. Wow, yeah, apparently I have 36,000 views. One of my doings here have uh, 73 fans. That is pretty crazy after three days. Interesting. Let's see if I get to 100 later today before I go back to Beijing. But interesting to experiment around and just play with this. Normally I put a lot more effort in these kind of things, but it's fun. You gotta know what's on with the technology, what the new kids are playing around with. But I'm just gonna enjoy this coffee now. Ah. Uh, Get energized now we're gonna walk back okay so after one and a half hour of driving it's now time for the second best time of the day which is lunch so we're in furong now we're gonna have some local food and i already spotted some fantastic things i want to try it's fatty pork here also another ancient city but first we're gonna get some food before explore very interesting so we just ordered the food and then they gave us a small gift corn i'm not sure if that's a normal snack you eat while you're waiting but why not let's try it mm. Very sweet, crazy. And while I was waiting, I was checking my own Douyin account. Apparently, now I have 144 followers. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> 2,075 likes. I don't know what's going on out there, but definitely more popular than on YouTube. So I think when this is posted, yeah, maybe I even stop on YouTube. I know, maybe I should just go on TikTok. It's pretty crazy. Wow, so now we get the first dish here. We get the pork. I mean, this is looking crazy. Take a look at this. Ooh, and I think now we got the tofu. Wow, that's looking great. Okay, so I think we got the fish coming in here. Wow, that is looking fantastic. That's a big plate of the move here. Ooh, make room for that. Okay, so finally lunch is served and it's looking totally incredible. You can already see it when they served it. I'm gonna try with that pork first. See, see if we can get a close up here. That is a lot of fat. They have some similar things, I think, in around Shanghai area, but this is a local version, so it must be spicy. Mm. So smoky. Wow, a lot of fat, a lot of meat. Let's try another one here. See the pork pieces and a bit of onion? That is amazing. Yeah, the garlic here. Mm. Very crunchy. Wow, that's a strong garlic. Wow, that's a huge mountain. Take a look at this mountain of meat. Mm. That's crazy girl. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. We have some tofu. Rice-based tofu. I've never tried that before. Let's get a bit of a mountain and see if we can zoom in on this nice action here. I guess, yeah, this is for sharing, so I'm not gonna eat with this one. Let's try a bit of a piece here. Spicy, you have some minced meat there, okay. Chewy, very natural flavor or neutral flavor, but with the minced pork, it's very nice. Mm, you have the spicy peppers. Very nice. Also a lot of protein here, a lot of fat. Then of course we have the highlight perhaps of the whole lunch. The fish, hey. it's a fish head. Maybe not so common to eat in the West, but let's see what we can dig out here. If my woo chopsticks skills are working, not the prettiest way to take it out, but maybe you can see here, hope you can see. White fish, mm, very mild, but I guess I picked the part with no spice. Let's see if we can get a bigger chunk here. Wow, that is crazy, all this chili. Let's dig out a bit of that. Here we got one with all the chili and stuff here. Let's try it out, it's steaming hot. Mm, with the bones, gotta be careful, very nice. You have some small bones as well, but let's try this one. Mm, quite mild, you have all these nice toppings here. Yeah? Beans, chili. He turned home. Very, very good. I think favorite-wise, this one. I think you can't really go wrong with this pork. But this smoky version, I have not even tried it before. I mean, it's just crazy good. Yeah, let's take a look. Mm. Yeah. I think it's gonna be my last meal here, actually, in here before I go for the airport. So I'm just gonna very much enjoy this. Last piece of uh, Hunan, extremely nice. Highly recommend it, come here. You need to go and see, of course, all this beautiful stuff here. We're gonna see some more a little bit after this, but food-wise, I mean, it's crazy. Hunan definitely is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna leave you guys here for lunch now, at least. Take my time, enjoy this. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you wanna try, have some questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you very late. Yeah, so the rain kind of started again here, but we're in Furong town now, as I mentioned, I saw the meal was crazy good. Now we're gonna walk in here, we're gonna show the health app code to make sure you don't have any issues that we're gonna walk in. And here you gotta scan your face, you don't have a ticket, you scan your face from the passport, so very high tech. 
Hello, yes. Take off. Oh, it's uh, perfect. Technology is working. You just scan your face, use your health code, and you're in. Yeah, a bit rainy here, but still very relaxing. You hear the birds in the background, the old buildings here. Very relaxing. Get to some old square here. People sitting, having a bit of a smoke. Not the healthiest, perhaps, but. Yeah, we haven't had the exactly healthiest meals or days for that matter either. So I can't talk about what other people are doing. I've been eating a lot of food lately. Tomorrow, back in Beijing, it's gonna be some healthy days before I go on the next food gentle, that is for sure. Yes, yeah, so apparently here we have the wind and rain bridge. People can sit down and have a rest here when it's raining outside. Yeah, nice view. I'm sure this is a lot prettier in the evening, but Gonna go back to the airport in a while, so no evening views here today. Wow, here's actually super nice when you walk in here. I have all the red and the lanterns. I'm sure this is crazy nice in the evening, but gotta enjoy it like this now. Could be worse. Here we also have a bit of a tower up here in the background. Super nice. You have the water down here. Relaxing to listen at. I think a lot of these kind of old towns and cities are quite similar but that doesn't make them less pretty. I really like this kind of wooden architecture and you have the lanterns and bamboo growing in the background. Very nice contrast with the color like green, red, brown. They have all these like woodworks and things going on in the background here. You can sit and just have some tea. Super nice here and calm. Yeah, you could definitely just spend days walking around here relaxing, but we have a pretty intensive schedule, so just gonna keep it moving. Okay, so we got to a bit of a highlight here, the waterfall here in Furong town. Quite nice, we're gonna walk around a little bit here. Quite noisy, I think we're gonna go down under here. Quite interesting, a lot of people taking photos. Let's see if there's anything more interesting on offer here. Ooh, we have some interesting trees here, bananas actually. Makes me hungry, but I just had a cucumber to stay full, so we'll see. Keep on walking here, you have a lot of cool restaurants with views up there but no more food for a while. It's actually pretty warm and stuffy and humid here. It would have been pretty nice to just jump in here, take a bit of a shower, but yeah, I think I would skip that. It's probably not gonna end in a good way. So now just continue walking a bit here. The local business street, apparently. Uh, the Chinese Red Star up here, apparently. And you have some other local things going on here. Quite calm. There wasn't people taking a boat, but apparently if you take that boat, you end up somewhere else. And I wanna get back to our car and that would be a bit sad so just gonna continue walking it really kind of reminds me of Lijiang down in Yunnan where I went before and you have all these kind of streets leading up here super nice and they sell these meat everywhere I love beef so that's not a problem but if you're not into meat perhaps it's not the place for you very very pretty that is for sure yeah, I really like these wooden structures you have everywhere in the background here very old vibe here, even though some of it is kind of modern, but just can imagine how it was in the old times here. Feeling very cozy, especially at night. Not just concrete that you see everywhere in the kind of more modern life. And just walk around the different corners you can see in here. Nice hotels here and up. Like never ends, you can just walk around there for hours and hours and explore. We'll see, only have like 44 more minutes here, so can I make the most out of it? So I think now we're actually up on the restaurant street overlooking the waterfall down there. So you can sit here in the evening, have a very nice viewpoint here. All these restaurants, we'll see, maybe we can find like a cafe or a tea house or something and overlook it. We'll see, I guess it's a competition for places, but I'm sure we'll find somewhere it's nice to relax a little bit. Very nice, let me walk inside and take a look without actually buying anything. I was looking for perhaps a Coke Zero or something with no calories, but they don't seem to have it. So, but I get to enjoy this pretty crazy view anyway here. Wow, take a look at this. That is pretty spectacular. You have all this whole hill here, up here. That is super nice. Yeah, I'm ready to sit down here. Take it a bit easy before going back. Here in the middle of the alley, we also have a bit of a nice temple here. Let's go inside and check it out here. Very relaxing and peaceful here. I guess you have a big Buddha here. <sighs> Silent. You can smell the incense. Very peaceful. Yeah, I will leave it alone here. Go outside. Nice to just change up the environment a bit. Very peaceful here. 
When you walk in the valley, you get this smell of this smoked meat. Wow. And some flies flying around here, but I guess it's smoked, so no bacteria can grow. That is looking crazy, and I guess that's the whole pig head. And the legs, yeah, this is like almost like black here. Crazy nice. Smells really good, but I bought some snack with it. I'm gonna take home. I'm gonna save that for another time. Okay, so we're getting close to the end here, and I think it's time for me to close on this trip a little bit. It was very nice to go to Feng Huang, the city I was last night with all dinner. The nice lighting, but also here today in Furong. But this is, of course, in the daytime. They're quite different. Uh, the other one, I think, is much bigger. Feels a bit more commercial also. This is very calm and nice if you prefer that. That's probably better to come here. It's basically three hours drive from Changjiajie to Fenghuang, where I was yesterday. And this is like one and a half hour kind of in between. So you can maybe only go here if you want to go all the way. But yeah, I'm gonna just go back now to the car, finish the trip, go to the airport. But if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Otherwise, stay tuned for more content. I'm gonna go on another trip actually in one week. So you'll see with that and stuff if you follow me on social media. Otherwise, if you wanna see more from me, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.